Hello and welcome to the Micronation Show. I'm Adam, also known as AB Animation Limited. This is a pilot episode for a brand new series here on the channel, which as you might have guessed is all about the weird and wonderful world of Micronations. For those of you who don't know, a Micronation is a country that has been made by a person or a group of people that isn't recognised as a genuine country by the sovereign states of the world. Micronationalism is the hobby of creating and running a Micronation, and there are probably several thousand Micronations worldwide. Here on the Micronation Show, we will be looking mostly at the nations of the MicroWiki sector, the well-known Micronational Online Encyclopedia. So let's get started with the news segment. First things first, uh, about a week ago, on January the 25th, was the inauguration of Sebastian Strieber. I, I apologize if I'm pronouncing that wrong, but uh, uh, the third president of the Ashokov Federation. Um, I will say I was there um, as a guest, although it was like on Skype, so I wasn't actually traveling around the world to visit inaugurations, which would, if that would be cool, but you know, it's kind of difficult. Um, but yeah, the inauguration of Sebastian Skriber as the third president of Ashokovo, uh, replacing what's his face, Edward Jacobs, uh, the previous president. Um, um, the actual inauguration had quite a lot of guests. It was recorded for um, the Ashokov Broadcasting Corporation people. Um, I don't know if they've uploaded it yet, but if they have. Uh, we'll be sure to let you know in the description of the video. Uh, well, that was a, an interesting event, very well coordinated by uh, the uh, Ashokov officials. Um, okay, so let's move on. Um, okay, so um, over in St. Charlie, which is of course one of the most well known, reputable micronations around here, um, the uh, National Party has nominated Alexander Reinhardt. Uh, for the position of president in their upcoming presidential elections. Um, I'm not 100% uh, familiar on the history of St. Charlie, but I do know that Alexander Reinhardt was traditionally a very important, influential figure. He's currently their kind of foreign affairs person, um, representing St. Charlie in the Grand Unified Micronational. Um, but this has been uh, received quite well, I believe, by the uh, members of the community to see uh, uh, Reinhardt back in a important position in St. Charlie. Um, I'm not sure what's going on. Uh, oh, okay, the Socialist Party has not announced a candidate yet, apparently. Um, what else is there? Over to the, uh, to the Delsh Westlandic Federal Republic now, where um, Bradley Booth of the Green Party has just been elected president, the second president of the Federation. So 52% turnout, 56% uh, voting for Booth, 33% voting for Danny Clark, and 11% voting for a uh, James McGregor. Okay, last thing. Um, recently, um, a close ally of the Empire of Adamia, um, the Regional Theodorus Dominion, no, Theodorus Regional Dominion of Burnham this land, sorry, um, renamed itself to the Region of Clyro. Um, this is in preparation for when it merges with, uh, I, I think, a part of the uh, old migration of Lurk uh, to form a new uh, combined nation which will be known as Mercia. Um, and uh, Clyro has recently begun appointing. Uh, its government and creating its government. So, over here on the uh, Micronational News Agency, we have. Um, uh, okay, this is a bit odd because it says Duke Kennedy in the title and it says Baron Kennedy uh, below that. Um, but whatever he is, um, the well known Micronational figure Joseph Kennedy, and he has been appointed the first minister of the Mercian Parliament House, which I uh, understand is a position similar to that for Prime Minister. Um, and as I heard earlier today um, in Clyro's um, kind of public Skype chat room, um, the uh, Mercian Parliament now has a cabinet, um, 
which, in, in the words of uh, Lord Richard Cunningham, who is the, of course, the head of state of Clyro, uh, has been created to support uh, Duke Kennedy. I guess that's what it is, for Duke Kennedy. Um, so they have uh, Baron Simpson as Minister of Foreign Affairs, uh, Mark Wee Cassidy as Minister of the Interior, uh, Duke Lebeo as Minister of Defence, uh, Lord Richard I um, as the Synod representative and Minister of Transport and Communications. Dear me, all these strange names that these, uh, these strange titles that people use. Anyway, um, I think that sums up the news for this week. Alright everyone, welcome to today's special segment, main segment of the show, which is A Day in the Life of a Micronationalist. Now before we start, I'd just like to point out that we don't do this all day, you know, I don't do it for a living. Well, I'm a micronationalist, but I don't do it for a living. Yeah. Um, so, I've, it's, um, let's have a look actually, let's say, uh, it is 25 past one. And I believe that means in about half an hour I will be leaving to head to another one of the Adamic provinces. Right now, I'm of course in my own home, uh, which we know as Primoria Province, in the office of the Emperor right now, which is of course my bedroom. Um, soon we'll be going to Titania Province, which is where my grandparents live. So, uh, I've been up for about an hour, um, and of course I've been doing stuff non micronational related, like I said, I do this for a living. And uh, that's the top hat up there, as you can see. But yeah, um, I've, I've got other stuff to do. So, uh, now it's that time in the morning, not afternoon, seeing as it's now one o'clock, when I. Um, this is kind of confusing to look through the camera here and the screen as well. Um, it's that time now where I'll go and check micronational events and things that I need to catch up on, so we'll start by heading over to the front page of MicroWiki, I suppose. Um, and actually, it doesn't look like there's any news. That's the news feeds um, right there, and that's the entertainment feed. Let's just go down a bit. Uh, right there as well is another news feed. And then there's, of course, the analysis and opinion search. So it doesn't look like there's anything new. There is the uh, membership applications for GUM. So, um, I believe the GUM has a meeting tomorrow. No, today actually, later today, is a quorum of the GUM. So, these membership applications, not that one, we already did that one, but these three membership applications to the Grand Unified Micronational will probably be dealing with later today. So, I'll let you know how that goes. And of course, myself being the Chairman of the uh, Secretary, even of the Advancement Council, it was my job to actually post this application thread. If we just go into Google Drive here, into the Empire Vidalia section, uh, in the Ministry of Citizenship here, we're going. Skype, we have the micronational chat room. You know, amongst all the other stuff, you know, the other stuff we do, Craftania, and everything. Uh, Grand Unified Micronational. This is where the world famous, or at least in the micronational world, uh, famous GUM arguments take place. However, it's been kind of quiet lately. I, I kind of, I'm kind of expecting everything will just, everything's going to kick off again soon, pro probably. You know, left versus right, all that stuff. Um, Basically, uh, today we had scheduled a public referendum, um, so that would have meant uh, printing off ballot forms, and when we go to Titanic province we would start voting and stuff like that. Um, however, all the citizens who usually go to Titanic, because it's basically where we have our family kind of meet up every every weekend in Titania province and a lot of the citizens, family members are there but apparently there's not actually going to be anyone there today and the camera's gone a bit out of focus there we go um, yeah so doing this referendum might be a bit more difficult now the referendum's basically whether or not we're go the Empire of Adamia is going to have a new national anthem um, 
but um, I will see. It depends on how many people are there today. Um, I mean, I guess I can contact people by email. We can probably still get enough of a turnout. That's the main thing anyway. So, uh, we'll hopefully go ahead with it. But what I need to do now is design some ballot forms. Or it'll probably just be one big sheet, actually. Um, what else do I need to do? Well, we will be leaving quite soon, I imagine. So, I'm going to make those ballot forms now, and I'll be back later. Alright, here we are. The referendum form has just been produced in open office. I basically just recycled the form from the last uh, referendum and just added a few new names for people who've joined us since then. So, I'm going to get Mr. Prince off now. Uh, where, where's that? Prince. Number of copies one, yeah, yeah, use a cover printer because there ain't no other printer. Here we go, down here is for laser printer, got this for Christmas. Right, there we go. Okay, there's our referendum. Form. I will basically just tick all the boxes here. So, of course, there's the option for keeping the current one, which is in Broadway, and the uh, option for the new one, the proposed one, which is Rural Damia, which is based, of course, upon the old British patriotic song, Rural Britannia. So, uh, that referendum will take place over the course of today. I'll let you know how it goes on. Now, I need to actually send out details of this by email to the various full citizens who I won't be meeting today, kind of personally. Um, so, for email and Skype and stuff like that. Um, so, I'll be doing that, and then I believe it'll be the next stop, Titania Province. So, I'll be back with you later. back again in the office of the Emperor in Primoria province. It's 8 o'clock now, which means that the time has come for the Front Unified Micronational Quorum meeting. And uh, it's actually going to focus. I don't think it really likes focusing on computer screens. Right, but... Uh, probably not the best way of doing it, is it? Um, in the GUM... Uh, we're holding a meeting today to decide whether or not, no actually, uh, we're going to be approving a new kind of charter, a new constitution document to kind of reboot the organisation. So, um, throughout this meeting, as you can see, people are just announcing their presence, and um, I'll do that in a moment. Um, and hopefully, a completed charter will be approved by the quorum today and then at some point the uh, Empire of Adami will have to ratify this new charter and that's something for us to do uh, probably later this week. But anyway I'm going to get on this meeting. Meanwhile uh, the referendum that we're holding today about the new national anthem that's been going on. As you can see we've got a lot of ticks here on the, on the form. Uh, it's currently looking like it's in favour of choosing the new anthem but only barely it's something like six for the, uh, the new one, for the old one. And quite a few people haven't voted yet, and we've got a full turnout, so... No matter where the might end up dragging onto a second day here until I can get enough votes. Alright, so I should probably start participating in this meeting, and I'll let you know how it goes afterwards. Okay, another update. It's now 10pm, and... The quorum meeting has only just finished about 10 minutes ago. It was a very long meeting, and we still are maybe about a quarter way through uh, approving the entire um, charter. We had to uh, leave early because it was dragging on, there were many things that we couldn't agree on. So, I think the last thing for me to do today is to write our uh, Adamic Express news article. It's Sunday, which means the article. The weekly article has been written. This uh, referendum down here isn't finished yet. I just need one more vote and then we'll have a 50% turnout. 
Um, however, if that vote is for keeping the current anthem, it's going to be tied 6-6. Six to six. So either way, I can see this referendum dragging on till tomorrow, because the voting closes in a little more than an hour and a half. So I'm going to go write the article now, we'll just go to the, uh, hold on, to the newspaper. Post. And I'm just going to go write this. And then, I think that'll be all for today, I'll go uh, edit all this up. And I'll be done. I've got other stuff to do, like I said earlier. I don't do this for a living. I do have other stuff to do. School and homework, everything. I'm going to write this. And then we'll call it quits for today. Okay, that's all for this pilot episode of The Micronation Show. So... Um, if you would, uh, if you enjoyed this, if you would like to see this series continued, then please let me know with a like or a comment, and hopefully we'll see more episodes of this in the future. I've got plenty of more segments that I will be making. Hopefully, the quality of these will improve. But yeah, that's uh, all from me for now. If you like this video, well, I could really appreciate it. Subscribe for more. Don't forget to leave feedback in the comments. That's all from me. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.